You're watching this video because you have a smartphone in the Samsung Galaxy S21 series, your device has been rooted, and you've come to find out that you no longer pass safety net checks. So as you can see, my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is in the same situation. I just gained root access to the device, and because of that, I am now failing safety net checks. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to fix this issue and begin successfully passing these safety net checks again. Now my Galaxy S21 Ultra has Android 12 One UI 4.0 installed on it, and it has been rooted. If your device does not have root access yet, look in the video description and I'll include a link to the root tutorial I did specifically for the Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now that you are caught up with how my phone is set up as well, you need to download the Zygisk module as your first step here. So I'll be including the link to KDragon's GitHub page and a mirrored APK or a mirrored zip file download for this Zygisk module in the video description below. So after you have downloaded that Zygisk module, we need to flash that in Magisk. So we can open up Magisk. And then we're gonna tap on the modules button down here so that we can tap the install from storage button up here at the top. So if you do not see the module listed here, browse for it in your downloads folder. And again, just select this Zygisk module that we have downloaded. Once that's done, we should see a blue reboot button down here at the bottom. Go ahead and tap that so that we can let the device restart and boot back up into Android. All right, now we are back into Android. We have installed the Zygisk module, but it has not been enabled or anything yet. So we're gonna go back into Magisk. We're gonna go into the settings, scroll down a little bit. You're gonna see a Zygisk toggle right here. We're gonna go ahead and tap that to enable. And then you're gonna see a toggle for the enforce deny list as well. And we're gonna tap that to enable this feature as well. After you have enabled the deny list, some people will need to configure the deny list. This is not something that you need to do in order to pass safety net checks. However, some applications specifically in games, some apps and games specifically need to be added to the deny list in order for them to work. For example, if you have a banking application that is being very difficult, you likely need to add that banking app to the deny list. The same thing can be said with things like Pokemon Go, who are very stubborn with safety net checks. These apps that you're having trouble with need to be added to the deny list. Now something else that is also optional, it's not required in order to pass safety net checks, but it sometimes is possible for apps who are checking to see if Magisk is installed. So many apps check to see if Magisk is installed and will refuse to run if that is the case. And we can use this hide Magisk app in order to prevent that issue. So configuring the deny list 
and hiding the Magisk app is recommended if you're having issues with safety net checks, but overall it's not actually required in order to pass those checks. And once we have the deny list and whether we're going to hide the Magisk app or not, once those two steps are done, we're going to restart the phone again. And just like before, restarting the phone is basically allowing the changes we just made to take effect. A lot of the changes we make to Magisk need to have a reboot in order for them to take effect. And we're going to boot back up into Android to see if we are now able to pass these safety net checks. So I'm using this YASNAC app to check for safety net. There are many free safety net checks in the Play Store. I'll link to this one in the video description for those who are who just want a direct link to the apps that I'm using. So we just open that up and run safety net. And you can see now we are passing both checks on the safety net app. We also still maintain root access. We still have Magisk installed. We still have our root access. We're just able to bypass safety net with KDragon's universal safety net fix Zygisk module. Now I've noticed that some people are still going to be failing safety net checks and that's likely due to a caching issue. So if you are still failing safety net checks, we can try to work around this by opening up the settings application, diving into the apps section. We need to show system apps. So we tap that sorting icon to show system apps. And then you're going to want to find the Google Play Services application. And from here, we're going to tap into storage and we can clear the cache as well as manage storage to clear all data. And again, once those two things have been done, go ahead and restart your phone again and then load up the safety net check application and run your check again. So that's how we can bypass safety net checks on the Galaxy S21 the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra with Android 12 and root access.